What's up, people? Hey, hey, whoopsnappers. How's it going? It's uh, Ark. That's weird. You haven't seen that in a while, huh? It, it is Ark, indeed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, l spending less and less time on, on the server, and, you know, I think a lot of people are. We were just talking in chat. Code's completely given up. He's like, if people want to go raid my base, that's cool, because he's not going to load it back up again and things like that. So, uh, But no, we, we've still got some things we want to accomplish. Um, Jay and I, New Sproutshire, we are in the process of looking for a beaver today, which... New Sproutshire hype? Hype! But, uh, looking for beavers, uh, because Poet recently got one, and Poet and I have been pretty vocal about, uh, we're not big fans of the strategies that the developers have taken with adding certain creatures and things like that. Like, I... I, I'm not shy about the fact that when I think... When you I'm, say not fun of, yeah, that's, uh, that's setting it <laughs> mildly. Well, it's a family-friendly channel. We gotta, we gotta... It's like a rage-inducing Skype chat. Yeah, yeah sometimes update. we get going and it's just entertaining, but I, I just I just think a beaver is stupid. Like, there, it's not a prehistoric <laughs> creature. Like, I, I'm sure maybe there was a big fat beaver at one point, but I don't know. I feel like we could have done something else with it that would have been more interesting. But they are actually really useful, and I think that the developers know that the stuff they're adding is stupid and so they make it really useful to kind of buy people over they're like this is dumb but it's going to be really useful so you're going to have to get one anyway is it's not that useful because it's just cool to have <clears throat> on your shoulder yeah yeah and like the uh, you know what the like, i don't know the kangaroo in theory is kind of a stupid thing but in practice is like the greatest thing in the game <laughs> so much fun Ooh, here's a beaver uh so anyway these beavers have the special ability right. that any building material they have inside them is, like, halved weight-wise. Um, so they can carry a ton with a lower weight capacity. Ooh, this thing's, like, black with a bright orange stripe. Hold on. Where on the map is it? Uh, I just flew up the river. You are right behind me, weren't you? I've been kind of following the edge, stopping and looking, trying to see what I can find. Are you closer to winds? Yeah. That's where they start to spawn in, so just head that way. I yeah, don't I've, see your name tag or anything. I don't know how far other oh, you are. I can see you now. Um. Let me turn around and you can use your spyglass to look at the thing. I'm ah, doing. there we go. Oh, you've got them in hand. Perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's a level four female. So not great, but it's like black with literally just like a bright orange stripe. It looks like it's been. Oh, painted. that's cool. So that's kind of interesting. Castroides. Something like that. Yeah. Casteroides. Mm. But yeah, so these things are great at gathering wood. So derpy any, looking. Any building material, or maybe just any wood, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, inside their inventory <laughs> becomes halved weight-wise so they can carry a ton. And then their saddle also has a smithy built into it, so you can craft smithy stuff on the go. That's um, crazy. That's OP. I yeah, so they're, they're, they're way too useful to not actually get, and they're actually a pretty decent mount. Like, sprinting on land, they're not super slow, and in water, they're amazingly quick, so... That's awesome. So do we want to get this the... little feller <clears throat> back to the safe taming pen on Sproutshire and make him our friend? Well, let's take a quick look here. Let's see if we can't um, find a second one. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, because this guy is interesting, but there's usually some others around here, and so maybe, yeah, if we can find a second one, maybe a male or something, then we could have Is a mate booster pair, we can each... Yeah, this one's a female. If we're going to fly back to Sproutshire, we maybe just each grab one and just go. Sure. You were <laughs> right in front of me, and all of a sudden you were behind me. I thought an Archie was attacking me. <laughs> it was like, Lag City for a second. No, I was not attacking you. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so maybe around Wind's giant outcropping here, we might find more. It's so dark, I forgot to turn up my gamma. Oh, that helps so much. <laughs> I always forget to do that. What's the other one? R dot blame quality and R dot lay shafts. I'm so professional. I did all this stuff before, back in the day when I would think about it. It's I been really a while since you played the game besides just feeding people, though. It so really has, okay. yeah. Jump on, feed some dinosaurs, make sure nobody <laughs> dies, and then realize I don't have time for the grind and go play some Rocket League instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the unfortunate part. To get anything accomplished in the game these days, it takes hours, so... Or at least an hour, and don't always have that kind of time. So it right, right, kind of doesn't happen sometimes. What? Oh, that's you. Yeah, I had to set down for stamina. 
Did you lose them? Are they quick or anything? No, I it it just I mean it wandered off slightly, but Are they like I the can't Fiomia? make up. Kind of derp. <clears throat> yeah, they're big and fat like Fiomias. I didn't see any when I just did a loop, so maybe this will be the only one we do for today. But I'll just follow the river. You know, stay low on my way back. Maybe I'll find something. Maybe, maybe. I guess if you wanted to, you could also you just make those darts. You could maybe grab a. A female Gallimimus, yeah, if you've seen it. Oh, you found another Is that a Fiomi or is that a beaver? Well, Scoop. I flew the wrong direction. It's a beaver, level four. Is it a male? Um, I can't tell. Okay, Can you? On. Uh, Let me catch up with you. I kind of doubled back. Oh, I'm on the river where it's kind of swampy. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I was going to say I'm not far from my other base on that old map. Let me see if I can see with the spyglass at this point. Uh, male Castoroides, level 6. Perfect. Perfect. That'll do. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> we'll probably bring you guys back when we're on Sproutshire and have these guys taming. Um, they take Gallimimus kibble, so it's going to be a long tame because we don't have any Gallimimus eggs, uh, and so we can't make any kibble. But um, we are going to try and tame them with crops and things like that. Uh, and uh, and we'll see how that goes, but it's going to be a long one, so we will probably definitely be uh, bringing you guys back here in a little bit once that's a little further along. So, see you then. All right. Um, I might go up top. I think is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna take the safe safe angle. Well, not the safe angle, just the less obstructed angle. I feel like they run around so much when you start shooting at them that it's like sometimes it's like oh I can't even see them from here. So. We got two beavers, and they are gonna be angry beavers in a second. Yes, they. Oh, we need to look at the name Norbert and uh, what was the other one's name? Oh. We're gonna need to look those up because that'll be the name of these two. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So we we did find well, well, you guys saw we found the male, and we've got this orange striped female that looks completely unnatural. But uh, yeah, look at the feet so on these things. Looking. Good lord. And then two. Beavers? Anyway, but yeah, we're going to knock them out, guys, and then we'll do the taming uh, uh, ourselves, but we're going to get them at least going. Jay, which gonna, one are you shooting I'm gonna at? I'm going to do black. You shoot at the female and I'll shoot at the male? Okay. Sure. Let's do that. Got him in the butt. Now he's mad at me. Oh, oh! What? Wow! What? I think that beaver hit me from, from up here. <laughs> oh, he's, e he's eating my feeding trough. You... Bucktooth monster? They're both on you. This is easy for me. <laughs> oh. Oh, and I have my sky. Ooh, is the male down? Oh, and the female's They're down. down. Perfect. Alrighty. <laughs> that well, was, that easy. was easy. Um, okay, so I'm going to throw food in both of them. Okay. Because um, we're I've just. Got some narcotics I can throw in as well. Just doing crops. We'll do that. 50 narcotics in you, and 50 and narcotics and everything in there. there. So these guys don't have great torpor level and stuff, but... Um, yeah, what are their numbers? Let's see. This one's only got 450 total, and it's already lost 50 torpor. Oh, yeah, that's dropping fast. This one was so, 413. Yeah, so they're, they're going to they're gonna rock, but we're both here, so we'll keep an eye on them. Um, we're also going to... I'm going to craft up a couple of saddles while we're away, but we're going to let these guys tame for a bit. Uh, and then we'll bring you guys back uh, when they're a little bit closer, and we'll spend some time actually playing with them as opposed to watching their unconscious corpses. So we'll <laughs> see you guys then. Good call. You have tamed a wild castoroidus. All right, so there we go. We got our dossiers. The female just tamed. I think the male's got a little bit of time left on him, but... Uh, That's sweet. Lots of pictures of a beaver making dams and, and <laughs> non non-trees and... Now, see, this is something in the in the like the little spotlight video they put out when they add something. They showed beavers making dams, and I can't say I've ever seen a dam on the server. I don't know how that works exactly. If that's just something that they threw in the video for novelty's sake, but there we go. So, a beaver. Uh, these there. things are narco hounds. My God, like I just OD'd this guy like not even like a minute ago, and he's already at, like half narcotic here. It's obscene. We've got through hundreds each of narcotics on these guys. Um, we were going to... Hey, one of us will watch the beavers, and, and then I would go make stuff. But, man, we I had to be full-time job doing beavers, and then we both had life stuff pop up while we were taming, and so we haven't accomplished anything. So, 
Yeah. What I think we're going to do... the story of playing Ark. Yeah, it takes so long, you just have to, like, take breaks to actually live your life in between uh, things happening, because it just takes forever. Um, so what we're going to do, because I do want to play around with these guys a little bit today, is I think we're going to take another quick break. We've got the dossier. You guys saw the dossier. This male is going to tame. He's a couple of lights away, but... Uh, again, staring at his unconscious butt, sitting there. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll save that time for non trees or something here in a minute. But I think we're gonna cut again real quick, and we'll bring you guys back uh, when we've got some saddles made. I got a lot of metal. Dolly is completely encumbered up on the hill, uh, and uh, I need to go gather some cementing paste, and then we should be good to go. But uh, got a lot of stuff to gather and, and build those things up. So we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to do that. So we'll see you guys yep. then. Yep. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got the saddle crafted. My god, this is... This is... <laughs> this is why people stop playing this game. It's literally... Jay and I have been recording for two hours now. Well, not recording, but we... We started yeah, our call two hours ago. Minutes. Right, we have, 12, we have 12 minutes of content. And we've been working on this, <clears throat> this whole process. Taming, getting the stuff for the saddle, doing all that. Just to ride a beaver, it has taken us two hours of our lives. So... <laughs> Just think, it's not time you'll ever get back. Right, it's not time I'll ever get back, but at least I'll have this pixelated beaver until I decide to let it starve to death because I'm <laughs> going to stop playing this game. I have that to console me. <laughs> oh, that's the weirdest looking saddle of all of them. It's so modern looking. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's got like a little cap. Like it's a little got leather. a scroll on the back, tools on the side, a little... Yeah. Look at the anvil Well, the like back. I said, it is a, it is a mobile smithy. Yeah. So like if you click into his inventory, you you can do smithy things. So I can. I can. <gasps> That's crazy. So yeah. that that is actually pretty cool, and it makes me wonder if maybe I shouldn't. Whoa! What the? Well, hello there, wild female terror. I got it. Just lands on my head. Just don't shoot Hellcat. <laughs> oh, down for the cow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well. Chat. Let's see. What do we want to level? Got a friend. Level health up, I guess. Out over the water. Missed it. Help on those. But uh, yeah, so do you want to play around? Yeah, Jay's got to get going here in just a minute. We uh, we're recording at night on a weekday, and his wife uh, wants him to come to bed. So <laughs> my wife is out of town, so I might get to play around a little bit more. But uh, here, uh, do you want? Uh, is who's the? I guess we could pick it up with the RGs. I think yeah, Phantom, we're gonna have to or no, get Hellcats up there. I've got Phantom Blade up in their aviary. Darn it! Um, and I took pretzel over to you let's get let me let me run up i'll get phantom blade really quickly and then we can get the beaver out of the enclosure Ooh, okay i wouldn't say it's particularly fast dang it i'm stuck on this stupid thing okay get wrecked all right bronto you were not invited to the party no brontos are never invited to our parties nope Except for Tiny, who really isn't either. She's kind of been banished to the cliff since uh, we tamed her. But uh, true. But yeah, Brontos are the bane of my existence on this island. So its attack is just a bite move. It looks like. Doesn't have a tail slap. That's, That's what I was trying to see. All right, if you want to get off real quick, I'll get her out of there, and you can go eat a tree or something. Test her out in the water. Oh yeah, because they should be able to swim, right? Yeah, I think they are actually really quick in the water, from what I've seen. <clears throat> They're kind of the opposite of like Slippy, I guess, where Slippy's pretty quick on land but relatively slow in the water. Oh, you went to that side, okay? There you are. Um, and so yeah, it should be should be pretty quick. In fact, I guess I could stay on Phoenix Down and just <clears throat> observe you from above. I won't lose you with that bright orange stripe, but uh... yeah, it's say faster than the frog. Yeah. As for gathering, so how much gets berries. One bite was 128 wood, though. All right. And it should supposedly wood in the beaver's belly should weigh half as much as if it were in another creature. So yeah, you should be 100 able to weighs gather. 10. Oh, oh wow, that's way less. So it, usually 100 is 50, right? I transfer it to me. So it's even. It's like a fifth of the weight of normal. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it is. 
That's amazing. So yeah, so you can gather five times as much with the beaver as you could with something else potentially, assuming you have comparable weight capacities. But um, where are you going? <laughs> Away. I found with the beaver. Are you getting off? Yeah. Okay. Well, see you, Jay. Everybody go check out Jay's channel, as always. Uh, we'll play around with... Uh, we named them after the Angry Beavers, so this is Daggett, and the other in the male is Norbert. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we can gather lots of wood. Let's see, what was the swipe? Uh, 112 wood from that tree. And Bye. so Bye! And then the weight capacity is... Uh, let's see, it's got 300 base weight, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 700 s wood in this thing, and still 100 from maximum weight capacity. So that is pretty OP, and then it does have the smithy on its back, so that's, yeah, okay, I guess it looked, looks faster in the water from above than it actually feels, I guess. But uh, it doesn't have an oxygen bar, so that's interesting. JC has left the Ark. And, uh, but yeah, so a very interesting critter. Um, I'm, I was thinking it's, its speed isn't too bad when it's sprinting, and its, its stamina actually seems like it'd be pretty decent. So, ooh, this, this Parasaur is asking for it. Remove the Tinto Berry. Come here, Parasaur. Get off a lock. There we go. It's at least fleeing, right? Yeah. Um, Poet was saying that he saw one of these guys take down a Carno. So let me look. Look at me. Look at his attack damage. Uh, melee damage 124 base. D this guy's got, or this lady's got decent movement speed on her. I'd have to bump the health. But this might be an interesting mount uh, for the ground exploration team, given that it's a mobile smithy. Um, wow, look at the damage. It did pretty quick damage to that Parasaur, too. And we should be able to catch up. The only thing I'd be worried about is if we're crossing bodies of water, it'd be really useful. But then, like, the Carno and the cats and stuff would get kind of left behind. But it might be nice to have kind of a slow, languorous journey on a beaver um, as our mount. We've got the Terror Bird, too, but... This guy, he's got some decent power behind him, and at the same time, he's got a lot of other uses. If we need to gather materials, like if we need to quickly gather stuff for a, a place to bunker down for the night or something, or when I log off, that could actually be really interesting. So I'll, I'll, I'll see what you guys think. Uh, there's going to be a couple of episodes, probably a, a couple, yeah, probably at least two more episodes before we actually get to doing Ground Exploration Team, uh, and then we'll probably have, you know... A half dozen episodes or so. I don't know how long it'll take us to get through that. Um, but I will let you guys know that um, probably this series will not continue in its like regular uploading um, much past May is what I'm kind of projecting. I've got some other new series that are going to be starting. Um, and both my interest and your interest has kind of seemed to be waning on this one a little bit. Um, and so we probably will uh, still update if something interesting happens. I probably won't be able to bring myself to just cut ties with the game altogether like uh, like Code actually did as we were recording. Uh, we were taming the beavers and Code was like, hey, I'm going to release my stuff if you want to come get it. And he actually left the Skype chat and stuff. So was, Code is like completely done with the game. Um, I, I probably won't be able to bring myself to do that uh, exactly. But because, um, I mean... Some of these guys I do actually have emotional attachments to. Now, a lot of them, it's like most of the things I would probably be okay with letting go. But, like, the birds I use all the time or my original stuff like Fluffy and uh, Copper or my Spino, who I use a lot. I've got emotional... Lock, I couldn't let go. Like, so probably we'll hop on, you know, once a week and at least feed things. And if something interesting happens, we'll definitely, you know... The game's still updating, so I won't want to give, give up on it altogether. Um, I'm going to bump health. Because if we're going to go off island with it, I'm definitely going to want to make sure that it uh, it's going to be able to withstand. We'll, we'll obviously have bodyguards. It won't be just us and the beaver. But uh, if that's what we decide to do, I think that might be a useful uh, useful to get a little more health on it. Uh, but yeah, so just, just as a heads up, I don't want to like spring it on you guys and just stop uploading and you guys be like, Hey, where's Ark? Because 
I mean, I, the views are down, which isn't a big indicator for me um, in general, um, except for when I am kind of in a position where I'm starting to lose some interest. And it's not even that I'm losing interest, because I can't even claim that. I love this game. This game is great. Um, I've enjoyed, a, you know, the time that I've spent on it. There are definitely frustrating things. Um, and the main problem is... You know, I still enjoy the game. I still really like the game. It's a good game. But I've spent probably, like, if I look at Steam, and all this time probably hasn't been spent, um, you know, actually playing. You know, maybe there's a lot of AFK time folded in there. But Steam says I played the game for over 500 hours. So, you know, a game lasting that long is is pretty astounding for me. Some people still have expectations. Well, what need to be... We should never get tired of this game. It needs to stay fresh and keep us, pat, you know. But, I mean, I think that's unreasonable. Um, and so I played the game a lot. Um, and, and, like, at the beginning, I was, like, addicted to the game. Like, I was on ARC all the time. And, and I think that is kind of worn off. And so the prospect, as much as I enjoy the game, the prospect of having to spend two hours playing the game every time I want to do something of interest, um, it, it's difficult because I've got a lot of other series I've got to do and, and things like that. So... It's just kind of becoming a, a you know, cost-benefit analysis sort of thing. I'm, I'm putting, I'm having to spend too much to get the benefit out of the game at this point. So, just full disclosure, probably after May, it's going to fall off the schedule. And if, if cool updates come out or I do something that I want to show you guys, uh, we will certainly, uh, ooh, that got dark real quick, certainly bring it back. But we, we still got some time before that. We're going to spend a couple of episodes uh, yet prepping to make sure we're good to go for the ground exploration team that we're going to spend several episodes doing that getting to be able to do a full loop of the island or go see some areas that we haven't really explored a lot um up the health on this thing too in case we take decide to take the terror bird as our mount um but you know there's areas um we've spent a lot of time on the eastern side of the island but we still haven't spent a ton of time on the western side so we'll probably go across and up the western side um, I'll probably bring my pelt and stuff so that I can, um, uh, you know, we may even explore some of the winter biome area. Um, maybe we'll go check out North Sproutshire. I don't think Jay's going to probably end up finishing that project. He's starting to feel a little bit of a waning interest as well. Um, and that's a big project out there. So we may just go look at it because it's a cool just part of the map. Um, so we're going to see as much of the map as we can from a ground perspective. Um, and then and then the series might kind of come to a quiet or at least, you know, not not an end necessarily because we probably will have updates after that point, but um, just you know, lessen in frequency. Um, but anyway, guys, that's a lot of nonsense. We don't need to talk, talk about yet because we just tamed an awesome new beaver, and that was those are cool. I'm looking forward to playing around with that a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tormer the Gray, and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys. Let me know um, of all the things that we've tamed and stuff like that, where your guys' heads are at still with um, is, who we should use as our mount. I hope he's got Violet up here. Um, who we should use as our mount for the ground exploration team, whether, you know, maybe one of those beavers or, or um, uh, you know, the terror bird or something else that we've already got. Um, I would have loved to have been able to get that kangaroo a couple of episodes ago, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, I don't want to take Rufus because I'm worried that we'll get him killed. Although maybe, maybe Jay doesn't, if, if we're going to, if we're both going to stop playing the game as frequently, like I think, so Jay and I tamed, tried to tame that, that monkey. Um, and for me, that episode went up uh, the ape or whatever that we failed to tame. That episode went up last week. So which means it's at least two or three weeks ago. And I think Jay's been on maybe once just to feed stuff since then. So, I mean, I, I think, you know, we're both, I mean, he's got a kid. It's just, we're just getting too busy to spend that kind of time on ARC these days. Um, so may, maybe he won't mind if I take Rufus on the ground exposure team. So maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll ask him about that. Cause I think that would probably be ideal. Rufus is, uh, the ideal ground mount. Um, and, and he's level 58 as opposed to, both our beaver and our terror bird are, like, in single digits still. Um, but we've got the Carno, we've got the, uh, we've got the cats. I probably will try and get a decent level female Carno to go with Leatherhead. Probably won't bother recording that, but, um, we may go raid Codes Base next episode or something. I want to get these guys over a level thousand, or a hundred, a thousand health if we're going to go off island. As, as close as we can get, at least. Especially because these guys are going to be doing some actual attacking. 
Um, his health is okay. Let's get to 1500, maybe. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Maybe we'll go raid Curd uh, next episode or something uh, and, and see what we can get from there. Code, um, put all his dinos on, or he uh, surrendered all his dinos, opened all his doors and chests and everything, so we might be able to go take a look at that. So maybe we'll do that, have a fun raiding of Curd's uh, abandoned base, and then, uh, and then we'll... Uh, really get into the nitty-gritty with the ground exploration team uh, after that point. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've been Trevor the Green. You guys have been great. Let me know what you guys are thinking on the, the mount. Um, and I'll s let's assume for now that Rufus will be available. So if you want to kind of decide between Rufus and uh, and the Terror Bird and or the Beaver and or, I guess, really anybody else. If, if, if we want to bring Meadno, we can do that. I mean, I'm an, I'm an equal opportunity, uh, uh, you know rider i guess so whatever um uh probably won't bring one of the raptors they're just so squishy look it's only got like 300 health my dilos my beautiful dilos we had like i had them all over like 2000 health and then this nerf happened i think the nerf is really what killed a lot of our interest in the game jay and i were still pretty gung-ho up to that point but then you know it you know started taking us you know 30 seconds to kill a Bronto as opposed to less time than that and now all of our dinos are super squishy so we're it's not you know we're too scared to take them out in places and things like that it's just it really made the game it, if it had been that way from the very beginning it would have been different but I think that really kind of killed some enthusiasm for it as well because we were still pretty gung-ho up to that point and then all of a sudden it's like everything is way more difficult and dinos are way less useful and so spend all this time, you know, taming things and leveling them up and things, and then it doesn't make amount to anything, so, yeah, anyway, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I've been Torment the Green, you guys have been great, make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I'll see you all back here next time, alrighty, guys, have a good one.